What is going on, Ninja Beta fam? What, what? This is your boy, Mark Farrell, aka Ninja Beta 2.0, aka Bring That Noise. It's been a bit, it's been a while. It really has. Um, I just want to tell you guys, thank you for support. Um, under the radar. I didn't really take notice, but I am now at 6K, 6,000 subscribers. Oh my God, 6,000 subscribers. Actually, it took me a while. It took me a while, boys. Got there finally. Um, no, I went from 5,000 subscribers to 6,000 subscribers. Actually, it took me long, about that long to go from 1,000 to 5,000. Um, big barrier, love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some shout outs. I'm gonna do probably some Amazon gift card getaway giveaways. Probably maybe a raffle. Um, I'll probably talk more about that in my next video. But I kind of want to talk about more about the Ninja Warrior updates, right? So I got past qualifying round. If you haven't watched it, American Ninja Warrior season. Uh, this season, season 14, um, I was on episode four, right? Made it top 30, top 30. Your boy Ninja Beta 2.0 made it to semifinals. And guess who's going to be on this next episode? I am. I am. I'm going to be on this next episode, August 8th. Make sure you tune into NBC. Or make sure you tune in to um, Peacock. So if you don't have an NBC, if you don't have uh, Peacock, you don't, can always download the um, NBC application to your phone. And you can watch um, this next episode. You don't want to miss it. I'm going to be on there a bunch with a bunch of other talented ninjas are going to be on there. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see it myself. Um Unfortunately, can't tell, can't get away the gravy details. It's going to be amazing. Also, after this, after this stream is going to be a premiere of some artwork that I've been creating for um, a poster. I'm going to, I've been doing some graphic design. I could actually do uh, any kind of graphic design that you want. If you want to, I could do cars. I could do, if you're American Ninja Warrior 2 or whatever hobbies you want to. It's $50 a pop, and I will make you something fantastic. Vintage poster. Uh, just give me some pics, and I will make you look amazing. I promise you. Um, but, yeah, so that aside, just email me or shoot me a text or holler at me in my channel, and I will I will do you wonders. Um, but, yeah, I am super excited for American Ninja Warrior semifinals. Your boy Ninja Beta 2.0 is hitting the course. What's up? What's up? Um, but yeah, um, on the other sideline of things, I'm wrapping things up. Things are getting close for uh, a Vegas trip with my my line and my future wife Michelle. Um, we're going to Vegas here shortly. Um, and spending a whole celebration, bachelor, bachelorette party together. It's going to be an amazing experience. It's going to be in Vegas. We're going to have a good time. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a wonderful experience. And I have my my mom, my Filipino half. Yeah, for those that don't know, I'm Filipino. They, they, I have some people ask me, you're Filipino? What's wrong with you? No, but... um. Yes, um, unfortunately, I'm a little bigger for Filipino, but that's it happens. My dad, my mom's, my real mom, my Filipino half, you know, um, she's five foot nothing pretty much. And then my dad, you know, my American half, he's six foot one, two, and all his side of the family were 10 pound babies. So luckily I had, you know, his side to compensate for my mom. Um, but yeah, uh, whew. I just got so much on my mind. Um, but yeah, I, American Ninja Warriors season four uh, semifinals. Um, 
and then I have uh, Park City Live. Park City Live did an interview with me um, uh, after qualifying round, and they were good people. Park City Live, good peeps. They wanted to know in the Park City City area how is Mark Farrell Ninja Beta 2.0 doing? Couldn't tell much, but um, I could tell they. I could tell them that I was, you know, the whole experience. You know what I've been through. You know what what did I go through? What was my journey going through American Enjoyer? Um, and yeah, the, I I've gone through a, co- a lot of things. If you've you know listened to my live streams and my previous interviews, you know it's it's taken a lot of work for me to get to where I'm at right now with my athletics. You know, especially with me being a bigger build, um, it's definitely not the ideal ninja warrior build being you know almost 200 pounds it's flinging the my body around and it's not hard it's not good on the joints but i make it work i make it work um i love american ninja wear obviously i'm obsessed you have to be obsessed in this kind of sport i follow my competition um they follow me you know it's it's cool we're a whole family but um but yeah i for the oh, I gotta t- I gotta tell you guys, I almost lost it. Didn't tell you. Um, so they have um another American Ninja Warrior tournament, underground tournament called UNAA. It's a another it's rounds of competition of American Ninja Warrior competitions, but it's not televised. It's just competitions. I did a qualifying round, and. Uh, a couple months later, I did a regional round. And then after you, if you make it that far, then finals is in Vegas. So I went to Vegas, told everybody, yeah, I'm so excited to go to Vegas. UNAA, I've done UNAA since they started. So it's been it's been a few years. Anyways, I flew with Frontier <clears throat> instead of going with my gut feeling with Delta. Try to be a cheapskate. Why did I do that? Anyways, I've only flown with Frontier twice, and both flights got delayed. Little did I know, this flight got delayed too. I'm like, are you freaking serious? Anyways, the organizer of a UNA, his name's Rob. I already scheduled my tickets for Saturday. I thought the competition for pros, you know, amateurs were running on Thursday, Pros are running on Friday. I thought pros are running on Saturday. Things got mixed up. Pros running on Friday. Son of a gun. I already got tickets for my family through Frontier on to come out Friday night and then arrive because I thought I was going to beat Saturday morning. Little did I know it was a day behind. So I'm coming out. I can't change my tickets. Even if I did, I have to change tickets for my whole family, my wife, my two kids i bring it out the whole crew you know if it was just me it would probably wouldn't be as bad but couldn't change my tickets probably be more spendier than i tried to but anyways i come out thursday i was talking to all my friends thursday unit a amateurs they you know it's just unit a some most of the time they're really behind organize it it's just how it is but anyways end up going till like 12 o'clock at night and i was actually cool about that i was like cool if this is a prerequisite to Friday, you know, if it, if it, if they're behind, which I think they are, then, you know, I come out, my, my flight was supposed to schedule to come out there at around seven. So I was just like, okay, I should be good then. Little did I know I called my friends who are competing in pros and they said they're on time. They're, they're actually a little ahead. I'm like, son of a gun. You have to be ahead of while I'm doing it. Next thing you know, Frontier calls me or gets a hold of me. I'm already in at you know at the airport, you know, all ninja baited out, you know, had my jersey on, hair white, you know, white mohawk, all you know, had the whole setup going, you know. I'm ninja baited out. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I've already had pre-workout. I'm gonna be like this on the flight, you know. I'm ready to go right when we f- land. Let's go, you know. Um, but no. My flight got delayed by two hours. Oh, I go out there to, I I get out to Vegas, right? Have my luggage. I am super bummed. As soon as I check my phone, I didn't even, 
you know, as soon as I get on my phone, I'm getting these texts from my ninja friends. You know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, this isn't good. This isn't good. I just, I don't even contact my friends. I just go straight to the New Orleans arena, which is where the competition is held for the UNA finals. And I get there and pretty much almost everybody's left already. And I contact Rob. He's in the middle of the arena, you know, and I tell him, dude, can I just run the course? You know, regardless, you know, I signed up for the event. He's like, no, the, the whole thing's over. And now I regret even, I kind of regretted going because I kind of already knew that happened. Unit A kind of did that to me the year prior. Something like this happened to me the year prior. I, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to do Unit A no more because it's just like, it's just this huge bummer. Something always happens with it. Um, thing about doing NNL though, uh, Wally Roleski is going to do NNL competitions at his new um, Ninja Gym uh, Impact. I haven't been there yet, but one good reason that they are um, to, to go down there and train is because they're doing an NNL. And the difference between Unit A tournaments and NNL tournaments is Unit A, the, no matter what, you can if you fail an obstacle, you go to the next obstacle. If you fail that obstacle, you go to the next obstacle. It just comes down to the next top five. But what happens is you get these parkour guys that come in. They don't take obstacles courses seriously. They just run their butts off and they fail, fail. Some of them plan, plan on failing and they just hop right back, right back up and go at it. And then now you're forced to take the obstacles seriously. Like once you fail once, you're done. So you can be a speed demon all you want, but once you fail, you're out of there. So it forces you to take, you know, those obstacles seriously. Anyways, that's besides the point. I'm jumping way far ahead in the future. My mind is too far ahead. Got to rewind back. Okay, so I talked to Rob. Dude, I can't compete tonight. He's like, no, I can't. So he's like, you're welcome to compete in the rest of the other events. Um, so yeah, I competed. It was Friday night when I arrived, so I didn't do NNL. And then Saturday I did compete in the, it was like world record, the world ninja obstacle games. And it was just like a, a course for everybody to kind of compete and do a world record to see what they can best do. Um, it was just another on the side course. And I did, it was a stamina course. It wasn't that hard as far as strenuous complexity, but their stamina, you're just having to go through the obstacles over and over again and climb rope. And, but man, it was pretty challenging. Most challenging part of the course was actually waiting three hours in line before I actually got to compete. So I was just sitting there warming up the entire time. Just like, ah, freaking kidding me. I feel sorry for people that are driving out there, driving like out of state, you know, eight hours away just to compete. And then they get there and then they have to wait in line for three hours to compete. It's like, oh, come on. Now, and then I was like, okay, I'm not content. So while I'm doing this, I'm thinking in my mind, I still hanging out with my family every night as I'm doing these tournaments. So I did Friday night, came out, hung out with my family, went out to eat. So I stayed up till like 12 o'clock that night and then woke up like seven o'clock in the morning to only compete, but I had to wait three hours in line. And then I spent the rest of my the rest of the day with my family till 12 a.m. again. Probably was my, shouldn't have done that, but I'm trying to take every ounce of energy to enjoy my time and get my money's worth when I was out there because I was just totally bummed. I wasn't able to get compete in finals. I, I worked so hard, you know. Um, I was definitely calibrated. My body was just calibrated, hardcore. Um, but Sunday, I did OCR and I didn't, I've been doing a lot of running, run, run, running lately because. I feel like having a bigger body, you're at a disadvantage with your cardio. So that's what I've just been working on recently. Hardcore. I haven't even been doing a lot of lifting. Haven't been doing a lot of climbing more. I've been focusing more on cardio. So I'm doing a lot of running, 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 breathing, breathing, breathing. So I'll actually breathe for like a good, a good 20, like 20, 15 minutes before I even compete in the course, breathing heavy, retaining oxygen. And now I've been, taking um beet powder i have this beet powder supplement 
and it, you sweat like an animal. I don't know what it is, but your stamina just goes through the roof. It helps you maintain oxygen, your red blood cells. It's actually pretty interesting. Um, but it's part of my, if you listen to me in my previous videos, I've been trying to my own pre-workout. This is part of it. Beet powder is able to take your game to next level. If you haven't tried it, you should try it. It's worth the try. Let me tell you, I got like so many supplements that I'm taking. Beet powder is up there. Um, but yeah, I did OCR, which is obstacle course racing, and it was OCR 3K. So I'm doing three kilometers of obstacles. So they set up the previous rigs from the tournament they had in finals um, for unit A. They set that up in such a way that they used those obstacles integrated with the 3K. So the first mile was just outside heat, just 110 degrees weather running outside for about an hour, hour or not hour, but a mile. And then you go back inside and it's air conditioned. And then you do all the obstacles and run around inside. And so I was feeling good because I've been running in the heat all the time lately. Like I'll train on my lunch and then I'll train afterwards. And one of my trainings for an hour will be an hour outside in the heat and doing just getting used to that. So, um, I, you know, I was, I, once I was in the heat, I was ready to go around that mile like a beast and they got inside and I was feeling amazing cause it was air conditioning. And I, I ended up taking, <laughs> I ended up taking second in that event and I didn't expect it. Um, but yeah, that excited me. Now I'm like looking for other OCR events, um, to kind of like, jump into you know what is the next level of uh tournaments uh that i can compete in you know not just ninja warrior but ocr could be something something to look into right it's more running um but i'm okay with that i at, at first when i was in american when i was training for american ninja warrior stuff i would i wasn't really into running that much but as i get older i'm st i'm starting to realize it's not that bad 3K is actually not that bad, especially with obstacles and a grain intertwined with it. If it was just straight 3K, I probably wouldn't like it as much. I probably wouldn't even do it. But but since there's a decent amount of obstacles intertwined with it, it's not that bad. But I got second place. I impressed myself. I'm going to probably enter into some more uh, OCR stuff. Yeah, pretty excited. But boom, American Ninja Warrior. American Ninja Warrior mode, right? August 8th. August 8th. It's coming. It's coming up Monday. Hot and ready like a hot and ready Little Caesars pizza. <sighs> so excited. And then, so 8th, I'm hitting the course. NBC. Don't miss it. And then the 9th, I'm going to be in Park City with an interview with Park City Live. They're interested. They want to know what's going on with Ninja Beta 2.0. And then I have uh, some kind of like, uh, I forgot. It was Voyage Magazine. Voyage Magazine wanted to uh, submit. I submitted in there and they want to do uh, feature me in their ma magazine. So that hasn't been published yet, but I'll let you guys know. Um, but that's it. That's all. It's on the agenda. Um, just want to keep you guys updated. Also, uh, recapping up, recap, 6,000 subscribers for Ninja Beta 2.0. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am going to be doing a raffle. Again, I just want to do shout out raffle. Amazon gift cards coming up. Um, it's going to be based off of how many, how many people you know are going to be able to, if the more subscribers you send my way, the more tickets you're going to be entered into the raffle to it to get into winning these Amazon gift cards. And I will be ever so humbly grateful for you guys supporting me. Thank you. I love you guys. Stay tuned. Remember, August 8th, this Monday, American Ninja Warrior. All right? I love you guys. See you guys soon.